what I'm going to do on my spindle here is I'm going to upgrade this to where in this space right here where the, it's just basically metal against metal uh, basically all the weight of the tractor is on this point when you're trying to steer but what I'm going to do is put some roller bearings in there <clears throat> which is this here and then a couple washers here that are, are the races that it runs on so that will get sandwiched in and then the weight of the tractor will be riding on a bearing now instead of just on metal against metal so it will hopefully ease up the steering and help the steering gears last a little longer <clears throat> so first you just need to kind of get the grease out of the way I had a dust cap on it it's the same dust cap the wheels use it's the same snap ring I believe the wheels use On the other side, and must have more grease in it. <clears throat> so basically, right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get ready to put it back together. Okay, bearing is two washers, and then here's the bearing itself. The bearing goes between the washers. So it's kind of act as the race for the bearing. And it, you know, it spins like this. So first you put your washer down. And you take your, get some grease. Get it packed in there pretty good. I use synthetic grease because it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Slip that down on there. A little bit on there. And you can slap some on there if you help the bearings slide on a little easier. If you think I never put on a snap ring before. All right. This side's a little tighter. Okay, we're good. All right. Okay. I'm gonna just pack that with grease. The spindle will move. Then you can replace your dust cap, wipe off any excess down here so you don't collect a bunch of dirt. And then put your wheel back on. And then that's basically it. It spins pretty good. I'll be curious to see how it works when <clears throat> it's got some weight on it. So, uh, no, it wasn't a real, <clears throat> real detailed video, but there might be somebody interested in the same type of thing with their tractor. This is a John Deere L130. I just replaced all the steering gears and the, and the pinion, and uh, they 
just got tore up from having to turn so hard and stuff, so I figured this stuff might help uh, the steering in the future.